G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Look what I've got. I made a new inlay, silicon inlay. This is a sunflower. Sometimes I use the clear or translucent silicone and sometimes I use white. So they both work the same. So today I'm going to do this with the chameleon pigment powders. And I thought, first of all, I was just going to put in a round and I thought, oh, I've got this amazing flower tray. So I'm going to do that. So it'll be in the center like that. But the first thing I want to do is I want to dust these. Now, if I left that in there and dusted it, I'd have all this mess around the outside and it takes forever to clean it out. So I'm just going to move that out of the way for now. And I am going to dust it. Zoom you in a little bit. All right, so I'm going to dust it. Um, I'm using these. I'm going to do the center with this one. This one is... Are we focusing? Are we focusing? Let me climb up on my little ladder, take my little step here, make sure that we... Okay, there we go. Nick Pro. This one's the gold green. I'm going to do that in the middle. And then I've got all these sort of shades of bluey, purpley, tealy kind of colours that I'm going to do on the, the petals. I think I'll do that one around there and that one, the other one in the middle and then I'm just going to alternate these for the petals. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, and then I'll mix up my resin. So let's get started, shall we? Hopefully I don't get any interruptions. I've got builders here today and... They just kind of walk into the studio. <laughs> My cabinets are going in. Yay. Oh, gosh. It's been seven months since we started, and they're finally going in. So they may well just walk in with some cabinets <laughs> that they've been putting together. Oh, gosh. Never mind. I'd rather them be here and get it done. But I do want to get this done as well. All right, so this is the, the center one. It's kind of the goldish, goldy sort of a color. Push all that in. It's a really pretty mold, this one. So these are just Nick Pro. I just got them on Amazon. So that was the center. And then I'm going to go around with this other one. It's kind of a tearly gold. Just clean off my brush with some paper towel there. And this one is just going to kind of do these little side ones. Just pop it a bit on and then I can brush it in. You gotta make sure you get the sides as well because it's a really nice 3D kind of a design. So you're gonna get in the top, down the sides, I'm trying not to get onto these ones, but uh, I'll probably get a little bit on there. It doesn't matter. Trying to clean them off is more work. So I'll just do that. Kind of like dabbing because if I brush, it kind of goes up over the bumps and it kind of sprays everywhere. So I'm just trying to sort of dab rather. Okay, so that's that one done. Now I'm going to alternate with these three. We've got like a purpley, blue, and a different blue. So those are going to be my, oops, shouldn't have moved the, <laughs> the lids. I'll never match them up again. So the uh, idea of doing it on my board is I can pick this up and then just wipe my board clean and then I can put the nice clean Druzy insert back into my mold. So I'm just going to kind of, I'm not going to do them all together, I'm just kind of trying to alternate, get the general idea, don't you? And then that one can be that colour. She probably do all of the same color, shouldn't I? And then I don't have to 
clean my brush so much in between. Normally I would take a little bit longer, but because you're all watching, I'm trying to hurry. It's not worth me putting the on pause and then speeding the video up. It just takes so much longer with the editing and that. So just do it this way. You can fast forward if you don't want to watch me do this. Probably needed a smaller brush actually just to get in there with some of the smaller petals. Some of them are a bit smaller than the others. Kind of need to get down the sides as well because it's 3D. You need to get down the sides there. All right, so that's that one done. I might add more. Let's see what this one does. Put a bit of this one on. Oh, where's that pedal going? Oh, okay. You can. Oh, okay, it's a big pedal. <laughs> I thought it was two pedals. I'm going to go down the side as well. And then the other thing I'm going to do when I um, pour the resin into my mold, I'm going to add a little bit of um, this pretty glitter. I thought that might look nice. So I'll just do most of it and then I'll sort of I'll pause the video and I'll just come back and do a little bit more on the sides just so that I'm not boring you too much. I think that's that one done. And then this one. Oh, that one's pretty too. They're all pretty. I'm hoping this is going to look really nice. I've got some handles that I'm going to just glue on. A few different types of handles actually. I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use yet. I'll have to go and have to go and dig them out. I've got some gold ones. I think I've got some black ones. I might even have some clear ones as well. I'll see which ones look nicer. Nearly there, you guys. Nearly there. Um, put a little bit more of this other one just in here. I don't know if they're the same. <laughs> oh gosh, are they the same? I don't know now. can't tell. I can't tell which is which now. It doesn't matter. But see the mess I'm making. You don't want this in your mold. That's for sure. All right, have I got all the sides? I think so. All right, let's put the lids back on these. Hopefully the right lid's going on the right one. <laughs> Probably not, but it doesn't matter. All right, move those out of the way. Move that out of the way. I'll just pick this up very carefully. And I'm just going to take it over to my bin and sort of flip it upside down and give it a bit of a tap just to get that excess off. There we go. Oh, look at it. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that down. Where am I going to pop you? I'll put you down somewhere clean. Now I'm just going to spray this with a bit of alcohol. And voila. Nice clean area. I see lots of people using my background now. <laughs> You must be watching my videos and going, oh, that's a good idea. All right. Now, oops, now I have to zoom you back out, don't I? Is that enough? Oops, shake, shake, shake. 
that's I think that's about it. All right. Uh, now, before I do anything else, I'm just going to get a bit of tape and just go over the mold. Make sure there's no. Oops, I've got marker on my hands. Let's get rid of that. Make sure there's no bits of hair and fluff and things on your mold. Doesn't matter how many times you clean it, still get bits of fluff in there, don't we? Alright, I think that's it. I'll stick this on the board here anyway for later. Right. Let's pick this gorgeous creature up. Now, where is he gonna go? Where's he gonna go? About there. Is that about the middle? Oh gosh, I don't know. I don't know. I think that's about it. Once it's down, that's it. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to move it again. It's a little bit of mica just there. All right. Now I'm just going to just lightly sort of just give it a bit of a, a press. Hopefully the pigments won't come off too much. Oh my gosh, look at the mess. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, let me clean that up. I wonder if it'll come up off with the tape. I was trying not to make a mess, but I must have put my hand in it. So anyway, I'm going to mix up some resin now. Uh, I'm going to use the Platinum 360 Plus because it'll set up nice and quick. Oh, look, this works. Because I didn't really want to, you know, wipe it. You be careful with your molds if you wipe things you might get like a smudge mark left on your on your mold all right i think that's about it um yeah like i said i'm gonna mix up some resin just clear and uh i will be right back mixed up my resin um i mixed up 400 grams <laughs> i don't know it's probably going to be too much but I do need to cover the top of the stencil so I thought better have a little bit more than not enough now this actually uh, be careful of it this glitter is from Larissi it's really pretty mm. never know how much to use for the outside let's just do that I can always add a bit more so what I'm going to do first, you know how when you pour your resin in, it kind of swishes to the outside and then it pulls back into the middle. I don't really want the glitter pulling too much into the middle, so I'm going to put the resin in the coaster, oh, not the coaster, the tray mould first. And then once it's settled, then I will go around with my glitter. and uh, do the edges so it's probably about a quarter of a cup there of the resin I'm not pouring this directly onto the stencil not the stencil the inlay I'm just sort of pouring it around the outside and then letting it creep in before I put any more in though I do want to torch make sure we're not getting too many bubbles oh, this is quite thick <laughs> Look at that it's really pretty hey it's got like blue and green and purple and so I thought that would look really pretty it's kind of a holographic glitter from Larissi it's a bit thick though I'm gonna add a little bit more all right gee I don't even know if I've got enough here to cover this whole piece I thought 400 grams would be ample I might have to mix up a little bit more it's a pretty deep mold it's a centimeter deep but, um, I'll get I'll put my edge in and then I can mix up a little bit more resin all right let's give this a bit of a torch Make sure you're not torching your inlay because you'll, you'll, you'll fuse it. 
So it's just a little bit there that I need some extra resin for. Now I'm just going to go around the edges with my little silicone brush, just making sure, or well, trying to make sure that I'm releasing any little bubbles if they stuck to the edge, because those little pesky bubbles, they do like to stick to the sides, don't they? Little pesky things. All the way around. And hopefully that will kind of release them from the sides if they're there and then flow into the middle and then I can I can pop them then. My torch is just on, on low. So I'm not getting very much flame out of it. I've probably got way too much here, haven't I? Look at that. Just wanted to get a little paper cup so that I can pinch it to try and get around the um, into the little points there. Not sure how much I'm going to need. Might not need all of that. Might have to put that into something else. So here we go. I can pinch that and then just. Follow my edge. Like so. I'm not pouring it too thick, but just a nice little amount. How's it looking? Is it looking pretty? This will also displace the resin, so I think I still will need to make up a little bit more though. A little bit more in. You're much better off having a tiny bit more than running out, aren't you? I think so. So this it will flow into the center a little bit. Oh, how am I going? Is it even? that'll do. Don't want to put too much in because like I said it, it is going to flow into the middle but hopefully not too much. Oh my gosh you guys look how pretty it is. Oh wow so pretty. Didn't get very close to the edge there <laughs> or there. Let's try and get it a little bit closer to the edge. So, um, yeah, I need to go and mix up some more resin. Um, do you need to see that? Oh, I guess so. There's a hair on the end of that. Just going to try and move all this to the edges. All right. Uh, gosh, I need mean, such a tiny bit. I can't get my glove off. <laughs> ah. All right, I probably only need like two ounces. I'll be right back. I actually made up another hundred grams. Uh, about three ounces. All right, here we go. Um, just go around the edge here carefully. <laughs> I don't want the glitter to come too far in. Are we going over the top yet? Getting closer. Come on, you can do it. A little bit more. Probably just need to push it over actually because it's got that little little tiny mound there. 
around the inside of that sunflower but I painted with the second colour so I think that should be done so that's basically I think I used two cups for those of you that have got this mould that are wondering two cups of resin Ta da we're covered Alrighty, now I'll just have a little fiddle with my glitter, make sure it's doing what I want it to do. But yeah, it's, it's going to move. I really don't have much control over it. <laughs> you know, resin does what resin wants to do. We can try and control it, but really we can't. We like to think we can, but we can't. Not really. Only to a certain degree. But um, yeah, I, I just hope that the glitter doesn't sort of come in too far. I probably used a little bit too much, but that's okay. We'll know for next time. Right, little torch, and then I am leaving it. I'll come back to it in five minutes and just give it another little torch. Um, I'm not going to spray the top with alcohol because it kind of leaves like a um, like a watermark on top. So I'm not going to do that. Right. Should we go and have a little look? A little, a little look? Let's see if we can get some. I know there's lots of lights and things around, so it's a bit tricky. But hopefully the centre will be nice and yellowish. And then we've got those hues of blues and greens and purples and then that pretty sparkly outside. So oh, I'm looking forward to it. So once this is set, uh, cured, uh, I'll take it out of the mould, turn it upside down and then I'll just fill the flower indent. Um, you know, once I've taken the um, silicon insert out it'll leave a kind of a dent so i'll just fill that little area with black um, and then it'll be done so um yeah i'll see you in about six hours for the next step right oh so it's later on in the same day and this is set up <laughs> it's nice and thick let's get her out hey you can see the glitters come in a little bit but um it hasn't gone over the flower which is good and I came back sort of every five minutes for about half an hour, really, just to see if I could, you know, pop any stray bubbles. Um, there was one bubble that I just couldn't get to come up um, the um, the resin had hardened too much, so I know I've got a bubble. Oh, look at that! Look at the clarity in it. Wow, it's so good. Look at that. Woohoo! So yeah, it's, um, it's in there. I tried getting my toothpick, but the resin was so thick already that it was just no getting it out. Right, now we have to get our little insert out. And if there's any resin that's kind of flown underneath, it'll only be like little, little bits like that, which aren't a problem. Hopefully there's not too much of it. You can just pick it off. Comes off easily. Look, they're only thin. It's probably best to do it, um, you know, before the resin gets too too hard. Just pick it off, and then once all that's been picked off, <laughs> then I can take my insert out. So it hasn't got a lot underneath it. Um, yeah, just a little thin bit. Where's that one? Is that a piece? No. Yes. Oh, there it is. It's hard to see it. Get it all off. Is there much more? No. A little bit more here. <laughs> cut all my nails <laughs> so it's tricky you can kind of feel where the edge is 
you know when you're feeling sticky tape to you start your sticky tape roll you just sort of run your finger along and you can kind of feel that little thin line it sits like that and you just look for the edge all right that'll do I can um, fix up those last little bits later on but you do need to pick off all the edges before you go pouring your black in so I'll probably just do those with um, if there's anything left I'll just go in with my little cuticle cutters afterwards but let's get it out I'll start over here just kind of oops there's a piece of resin <laughs> no wonder it wasn't rolling I was gonna say I was just gonna roll it out with my thumb like that you just roll it and get that edge there's a little bit more resin there yeah, I'll just pick those out in a minute. And there it comes, nice and easily. Just be careful, don't break your insert. If there's a little bit of resin over it, rather just peel it back than force it. Because you don't want to break your insert. It's out. All right. Uh, now there's a couple of little areas there that I just need to clip back. Oops, I need to get onto it this way, I think. I don't know if it makes any difference or not. Because, I mean, the black will go underneath it, I guess. But this one's just got a little bit of extra. Most of them are just really, really thin. They're just like paper thin, not even paper thin. All right, I'll just tidy it up real quick. Right, all done. I just went around and made sure I couldn't feel any more little loose bits. Now, if you wanted to, like you could leave it like that and use it as a candle holder, couldn't you? You know those little candles? You could just stick it in the middle there. <laughs> you could but anyway I am going to pour some resin into it I've got my black resin there let me put my gloves back on right now I am going to just spray with my 100% alcohol isopropyl just to help with bubbles oh look at the colors pop when you wet it <gasps> wow all right now here we go pour the black in goodbye beautiful flower I hope you're gonna look pretty on the other side all right let's slow down there I would hate for it to overflow can you imagine oh my god can you imagine if it overflowed and went everywhere <gasps> I did that the other day when I was doing my I think it was my Nautilus. <laughs> I overflowed it. Uh, luckily, I was able to clean it up. I hope this is going to be really pretty. You could turn it into a clock. What else could you do with it? I don't know. I'm going to turn it over and have it as a bowl, though. All right, so that's all gone into the little petals there so we'll pour a little bit more onto it I don't know what my dogs are barking at hang on oi stop it <clears throat> that's Bailey who knows their dogs bark by their their voice <laughs> is it only me you can tell who's barking by their voice that was Bailey now how much do I put in here I don't want to overflow it, but I do want to take it right up to the very tippy top. Mm, put a bit more. I'm just going to add it slowly. So, um, yeah, basically that's it, you guys. That's it. Um, I'm going to pick it up. It's going to, oh gosh, slippery. Drop it. Just help with the bubbles, maybe, because I can lift it up and slam it. <laughs> I can't pick it up, it's slippery. 
There we go. Hopefully that will be all right. I will pop the bubbles as I as I go every few minutes. I'll come back and check. But it's it's black um, resin, you know. It's really hard to see if there's any bubbles in there. So, all right. So tiny bit more. Um, what did I mix up? I mixed up about sixty grams of A and about twenty eight. 25 grams of B in the Platinum 360 Plus. All right, I'm going to leave you there and I'll add a little bit more slowly as, as I can, add a bit more in. And uh, I will see you tomorrow and we'll flip her over. Yay! So exciting. Hey guys, I'm back. Now, it's touch dry. But if I push my nail into it, it would leave an indentation. But I'm about to go to bed and I want to see what it looks like. So I won't be able to put this side down on anything. But I want to see what it looks like so I can go to bed. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's have a look. Oh, wow, look at that. That looks amazing. Wow, love it. We can see the difference in the in the colours. Can we see any colour changes there? Now I've got my oh, move that out of the way. I've got my bit of black card here. Let's see what it looks like with black. Here we go. You can see the glitters just coming across the top there. I um I ended up putting a little bit of <laughs> black in that little hole there but uh, I don't know I might pick it out <laughs> I didn't know what to do with it so I thought oh what if I can just put some black resin into it but I guess it looks all right if you're not looking that carefully hey <laughs> so there you go so that's what it looks like just with you know the normal background and then um, a darker background which isn't as distracting, I guess. Come in for a bit of a close up. How gorgeous is that, hey? I don't know if you can pick up the color change. But anyway, tomorrow, when it's dry, I'll take some nice photos of it. And um, yeah, I'll put it up for you to see. So there you go. Let me know what you think of it. I think it's really pretty. I'm glad I went with this sort of aqua holographic glitter around the sides. It just picks up that center colors really nicely. All right, that's it. I'm glad I've done that. I can go to bed now <laughs> and dream about resin. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of it. Uh, I will have that silicone inlay available in my store. Um, yeah, I'll get some photos taken of it and upload it tomorrow. So hopefully it'll be in the store tomorrow or the next day. So <laughs> thanks again for watching. Love you all. Take care. Bye for now.